We took a single allusion to mean a lot. If Paul had still been a part of the young and the restless, we wouldn't have batted an eye when Heather mentioned in the episode airing on February 16 that she and Lucy would be paying him a visit before leaving Geno City. Unfortunately, he isn't. Time seemed to have stood still for him. As for Dub Davidson's portrayal, he has made it abundantly plain that he will not be returning. He has tweeted, really. The event is over. The Emmy winner, who had played the part for more than 40 years, was demoted to a little part and pushed so far to the rear of the stove that he burned himself. In the time since, he has thanked the show's late creators, William J. and Lee Philip Bell, and voiced his discontent with future administrations. In 2021, he reflected on the many gifts from the first 25 years that had been bestowed upon him. There was absolutely no reaction from this group. We've discussed this previously, but at this point, we have to take Davidson at his word. So long as it's over, let's put a stop to it. To free up Christine to do more with Danny on his next homecoming than just reminisce, young and restless needs to kill off Paul. We don't know why, but Davidson found the suggestion hurtful. Davidson has declared that his time on the soap is over, and we are not in the habit of going around painting targets on beloved characters. You have made your feelings known, see here. Is it bad? Not to mention if he were to die, wouldn't it be more soapy to give him a grand send-off and perhaps even create a murder mystery? The rematch between Daniel and Lily, which is currently in full swing, would be thrown for a loop if Young and Restless took that path because Heather would have to stay until the guilty party was determined. If Paul has been secretly investigating Jeremy Stark, and if his inquiries have turned up proof against Diane and Tucker, the show might reveal this. To prevent their atonement tour from floundering, may one of them have assassinated the police chief. Could Jack have killed Diane to save her and avoid admitting he was wrong about her? That, rather than Paul's off-plane golf, would definitely get our attention. Write a compelling farewell story for the character and the actor, on par with the Cassandra-slash-Adrian plot that everyone remembers and loves. Please